say that? Because you haven't said one word the entire way. Well, no, I'm not excited. Spending two weeks with your mother-in-law is not exactly what I would call the most exciting time. Besides, she's never even accepted me as a son-in-law. It's a lie. Don't start with that again. It's not a lie. They've always been against me. And all supposedly because I didn't come from a good family. My mother does not even know her own grandkids because of all these stupid fights. Enough is enough. After what happened with my father, I want to be with her. Ah! You're an idiot. Leave your sister alone. I didn't do anything. He's lying. Okay, guys. That's enough. Hey, we're almost there. Starting now, we're playing the silent game. First one to talk has to sleep next to Grandma. Don't be mean. <laughs> yes, sir. Please. Okay. Kids, we're here. Time to meet Grandma. <laughs> oh, it's been such a long time. Oh. How have you been? Very well. You changed. It's been so long that we took a look at you. Beautiful. Oh. This is Jonas. And this is the little one. It's your grandma. Hello. Give her a hug. Hi, oh, baby. Oh. And this is Emily. Hi, grandma. The young lady of the house. Hi, darling. Love you, grandma. Love you, baby. Mom, why are you crying? Good to see you. I see you finally decided to bring them. Well, I did it for the kids. Kids, come inside and play. Yeah, go play. I'll get the luggage. I'm like your servant. Don't listen to them. Go inside. I see time hasn't changed your humor. You must be tired and hungry after the trip. Bingo. Come, come inside. I prepared some food. Regardless of time, I can see that everything remains exactly the same. I'm the only one who's changed. Don't say that. You look great. Do you know how many women would love to look like you? <laughs> Where's our room? Delicious, Mrs. Betty. Oh, don't call me Mrs. Betty. You make me feel older than what I am. <laughs> Glad you like it. You hardly eat anything at home. You're so picky. Ma'am, don't starve. Let him eat in quiet. He must be very hungry. Yeah. It must be that I was driving 10 hours in a row without stopping. What about you? Aren't you hungry? You haven't touched your food. No, Mom. I'm not hungry. Dad, can I? You're not going to eat, honey? Thanks, Dad. You get big and strong like your daddy. Grandma, who are these people? They were. They're all dead now. They're all part of our family history. Our ancestors that lived in this very house a long time ago. Some of them I don't even know. Those were my parents. Your great-grandparents. And those there were my grandparents. My great Great grandparents. Exactly. It seems like they're all listening to us. What about her? Who's she? I'm not sure.
Was this your room? Yep. Everything's exactly the same, except a little dustier. Mom, how did Grandpa die? You know, I've told you a thousand times it was an accident. Why do you never want to talk about him? Mom! It's late. Another time. Night, sweetie. Night, Mom. These were your uncles when he was a little boy just like you. I'm not a little boy. I'm me. Forgive me. You're a grown now. Okay. It's time for bed. Mom, can I keep two? No, better. Three. All right. Three. Good night. Good night. I love you. Love you. Love you, Mom. Love you. Come on. What's the matter? Well, your whole bed is noisy, babe. Really noisy. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a shower. Now? Yes, why is that a problem? No. I just thought that we could, you know. I'm exhausted. Yeah, me too. Honey! You need some help? I believe I can do it on my own. Are you sure? Yes! asking questions? It's normal, honey. She'll be fine. Like my dad always used to say, time heals everything. I hope so. Shit. What? This can't be fixed. Are you sure? Yeah, these pipes are too old. Kind of like your bed springs. Never been changed. You really can't fix it? No. I'm gonna have to go to the store and get a replacement. And uh, I gotta turn the water off too. So okay. let your mom know. Okay? Yep. Mm. Is it? Where are you going? 
for replacement. Now? Yeah, now. This is part of the main water line, so I had to turn the water off. Which means the sooner I repair this, the sooner we'll all be able to have a shower. Just not together. Okay. I'll be back for dinner. How are you feeling? Lonely. Very lonely. After your father's death, everything has changed. I've told you so many times to come live with us. I don't want to be a problem. No problem. You're my mother. Besides, I've already talked with Daniel and he agrees. Are you sure? Of course. I'm really worried about Emily. Why? What's wrong with her? It's Grandpa. She keeps asking about him. I don't know what to say anymore. Tell her the truth. I don't think that's good for an 11 year old girl. She's smarter than you think. You can't hide it any longer. And the boy? He's a kid. He doesn't even realize. Why did he do it? He didn't commit suicide. The police said it. Oh, the police. Oh, but the police said it's wrong. They know nothing. He was an excellent swimmer. Your father went for a swim that night like he did every night before going to sleep. That night was different. Something strange oh. happened. Something drowned him. Please don't start that again. Then explain the marks on his neck. for you. Thanks, Dad. Wow, it's a red car! What do you say? Thanks, Dad. What is this for? <laughs> Thank you. I was worried I thought something happened. Well, yeah. A big tree fell and I couldn't get through forever. That happens all the time around here. It's the wind. On the telephone? No, no signal. Oh, I almost forgot. This is for you. For me? So many fancy things. I hope you found time to buy the pipe. And it's in the car. But I will install it first thing in the morning because I'm exhausted. listening to me? What do you want, honey? I want her to come live with us. We've already discussed She's that. my mother. No. You gonna do that for me? <laughs> no. You wouldn't do that for me? Point in what direction you saw him move. Maybe you're just very nervous. No, Mom. What's up, Dad? 
Nothing. Go back to bed. Well, I found the mysterious flying handkerchief. It moved by itself, I swear. I believe you. Because here's the one to blame. Sony! Sony? I found her in the garden. Oh. You scared your sister to death. Honey, it's all right. It's all right? Look at your sister. I'm sorry, Mom. You want to say sorry to your sister? Sorry, Emily. Babe, it's only a harmless turtle. Don't worry about it. Go to bed and stay there, and I want that thing out of the house in the morning. Mom. I said out. You're going to wake your mom with your tongue. You just don't know what to do with him. He's just a kid. A kid. Dad, is it okay if I sleep with you? Just for tonight. Lieutenant Parker. Looks like you're leaving. Yes, we are. Can I help you? Yes, you can. I need you to come down to the police station and uh, help me with some paperwork and other things. Well, what was your relationship to the victim? She was my mother-in-law. I've told you that already. Why so many questions? Routine. That's it. 
Look, it's late and I'm really tired. I would like to go home. Lieutenant, I've been here the whole day. I told you and your partner everything you wanted to know. Can I go home now? Not yet. How you doing? I'm doing well, Mr. Parker. What do you have for me? I got some paperwork here for you. Okay, just a moment. Let me see. There you go. Please follow me. One dead female. According to the autopsy report, her death was not due to natural causes. Her death was caused by asphyxia. Asphyxia? Right. What does that mean, death by asphyxia? It means that something or somebody drowned her. But that's impossible. <laughs> what are you saying? Are you accusing me? I didn't say that. She just fell in the pool and drowned. It was an accident. A coincidence, maybe? Two deaths within a short time of each other with the same characteristic. What are you talking about? This was no accident. Look at these marks. Somebody suffocated her. And very violently. I don't have one. The officer up the road told me you had a phone here. Oh, I have phones in the rooms. There are phones in the rooms? Yes, exactly. How much is a room? Is that uh, one guest or two? It's just me. Do you see anybody else? You never know. Yeah, that's enough. It's outside. We have to wait for Daddy. He'll be here soon. Oh, shit. Hey, the phone doesn't work. What do you expect? Nothing works in this storm. Okay, I need a phone, please. 
You know, I haven't seen you around. We all kind of know each other around here. I'm staying with my family up in the house on the hill. Please, just let me use your phone. They're in trouble. I suggest you pack your things, get your family together, and leave that house. Give me your phone, okay? Mom! It's not me! It's just... It's my dad. It's why they're blowing up. It was her. Emily, please. She blew them out. Who? Nobody. The lady in the picture. Emily, don't talk nonsense. It's not nonsense. How come I heard you talking to Grandma last night? Emily, please. Then why did Grandma die? It was an accident. An accident? Just like Grandpa's? Look at her. Look at her. Shut up. medicine. Come on, take it.
I'm leaving. I left you some food in the dining room in case you feel like eating later. Africa? Africa! today I thought you'd be asleep I saw you were hungry yesterday I like it when you clean your plate like that come on get up come on come on there you go you don't like my food, you just have to tell me. The doctor was very specific in his instructions about what you can and cannot eat. The door. It's cold. All right, I get it. sure you lock the windows and doors. I always lock the windows and doors before I leave. Make sure once again. Do what I say. <laughs> ah, it hurts. 
hurts. What did the doctor say? Doctors don't know nothing. Don't say that. Come on. Try it. It's easy for you to say. Come on, see? You can do it. You can do it. Uh, ah, ah. Are you okay? I can do it! I can do it! Get off me! Ah! I'll never be able to walk again. Ah. Get off me, Africa! I can do it! Ah! Stop! Stop! I don't want any help! Oh. Don't say that. You should be grateful to be alive. Oh. Look at me! Look at this! Do I look like I should be grateful? Danielle, I know it's hard. That's why I'm here to help you. And I need to see you help yourself. Go home, Africa. I'm fine. Are you sure? Go home. As you wish. He's fine. Tired. I gave him a sedative. Probably sleep all day. What happened? It's hard to say. There's nothing physically wrong with him. Could be an emotional problem. He recently lost his family. Do you think that could be it? Loss often causes a strong emotion response that could have triggered an anxiety attack. Or perhaps he's not taking his medications properly? That's impossible. I give him the medicine myself every day. You sure? Thanks for coming. I haven't given him any new medication, but I want you to watch him. Observe him. And if you see anything like the symptoms you reported to me today, we'll bring him into the clinic for more tests. Sure. I'll take care of that myself. See that you do. Bye, doctor.
It's been a long time since I ate so well. Don't get used to it. Today is an exception. Here's your medicine. What's wrong? Did you swallow the pills? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. You don't believe me? I believe you. Just make sure to lock all the windows and doors before you leave, please. Now today, that won't be necessary. I'm fine. I already told you you don't need to stay. But it's my job. But I'm fine. It'll only be for tonight. Besides, I don't have anyone at home waiting for me. I practically spend more time here than I do at my own house. My son, he works during the week. He only comes home on the weekend. And my husband, he died a long time ago. I'm sorry. Why do you do this, Africa? Do what, Daniel? This job. Because I love helping people. I've done it my whole life. Here, I brought you your breakfast. What's wrong? Get me closer to the pool. What? Do it! Closer! You and your ideas. More. What are you looking for? What are you doing? Just help me. You can't do this! Just help me! You can't do this! This is dangerous! What are you looking for? You can't do this by yourself! You can fall and hurt yourself like the last time. Don't you understand? You deserve it. 
I'm so happy for you. You've worked so hard after everything that has happened. Soon, you'll be walking by yourself. Before their disappearance. What does it mean? It means everything. It means she was there that night and she never left as you thought. She could have slipped and fell. Maybe the water dropped her down. No, that didn't happen. It's a possibility. What are you talking about? I just told you I found my daughter's necklace in the pool that morning. What do you want me to do? Your job. Just do your fucking job. Get your ass off that chair and do something to find my kids. I'm sorry, I can't do that. The case is already. How did you close the case if you never found them? You know, I can't do anything else for you. Your children have been gone for over three months. I know how long it's been, sir. See these files? Every day, people disappear for all different reasons. And now you want me to open this investigation just because you found that necklace in the pool. Besides, there's no chance we're going to find your kids alive. What are you doing? This is as far as I can take you. We're in the middle of nowhere. You can't leave me here. I'm sorry, sir. Here. Keep driving. Take this. It's not about that. What's it about, then? People talk. I've heard many, many stories about that place. You want to know the truth? Now, one of those stories applause. You take me to the smoke tell. You do that? Yeah, that'll work. Come on. I'm okay, I'm okay. I need you to take me home now. Haven't you had enough? If you go back up there now, what happened to your family is nothing compared to what can happen to you. I can't. How much do you make a night? Excuse me? How much money do you make in a night? It depends. Five hundred now, and five hundred when we get there. So why don't you leave this town? Not yet. It was my daughter's. I gave it to her two nights before she disappeared. What happened? That's what I'm trying to find out. All I know is that my wife drowned and my kids disappeared in the same night. And the police could never find them as if they vanished. Yeah, the police will never find them. You've got courage. I like that. You have kids? If you did, you'd do the same for them. Besides, I have nothing to lose. 
Life. <laughs> life. Life has no meaning for me anymore. I can do it myself. Here's your other 500. Hey, you don't have to do that. A deal is a deal. Take it. It's yours. You can still leave.
What's going on? I think... I think I've seen something that's impossible to see. What? What did you see? Nothing. It's nothing. Tell me, what did you see? As you like. If you need anything, please call me.
hide from your soul.
Call me if you can leave us alone. Yes, sir. It'll just be a moment. Call me if you need anything, okay? Excuse me. The DNA at the bodies found at the house matched the DNA of the children that have been missing over the past couple of years. We also found items on and near the bodies. I need your help identifying these items. The bodies are badly decomposed. What kind of items? You know, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. for you. I thought you wouldn't come. Who are you? Yeah, it doesn't matter now. Of course it matters. You saved my life. My name is Oscar. Thank you, Oscar. I believe this is yours. Oh, no. I don't want it. Then what do you want? I want to help you help me. Nobody can help me. Everything's over. My son has also disappeared. And the police could never find him. Why did you bring me here? I wanted to show you something. A pool? Every Sunday, my son would come with his friends to visit me. That Sunday was different. I remember my son playing in the water. Then suddenly, Bubbles came up from the bottom. These bubbles rose up from the bottom of the pool. The children screamed in fear. Parents jumped into the pool to save their children. I, I did it too. I could never find my son. Where did he go? That's what I'd like to know. The only thing I do know is he was there. In the police? Uh, they never believed me. A couple of weeks later, they just shut the pool down. This happened 20 years ago. I'm still looking for him. She was a part of your family's ancestors, right? I mean, your wife's family. How do you know that? I know. ago this woman lived with her husband and her two children in the house where you live now one day she discovered her husband was cheating on her and she decided to take revenge by killing her own two children drowning them in the river by the house the police never found the bodies as time passed the house transferred from the parents to the children but always strange accidents happened police could not resolve until now. Your family is a descendant of her. And she will not leave until she has destroyed your entire family, including you. The same way she did my family. And him? He was her husband. And I am the only survivor of the family. What does the pool mean? The pool is a door. What door? To her world. This is where she goes in and out. It's a kind of porthole that she uses to transport from beyond into the water. The water's her life. 
Her soul is in that water. And the only way to destroy her is to close the porthole once and for all so she can never come out again. How do you plan on doing that? Empty the pool, close the portal, like they did with my son. Here, I want you to hold onto this rope with all your strength and don't let go. Okay. I'm going to open the drain at the bottom of the pool. You sure you want to do this? Do you have any other ideas? 